just a disclaimer that Tiddles is sat on my bed. He's been poorly and he's been kind of very needy so if there's a lot of weird noises going on it's Tiddles making his weird noises. If you're new here I have a very elderly cat called Tiddles and he quacks. Whenever he's happy or wants something that's the noise he makes and that's what he's doing right now. He's on my bed out. There you go. Yeah. I agree Tiddles. This is my what I bought in March video. The first thing I want to talk about, kind of just because to me it's really obvious, is I bought some new glasses. They're quite a similar shape to my old ones, so these are more of a natural brownie tortoise shell colour. And these are kind of a lilac-y, dark lilac, which is very out of my comfort zone. But I think I like them. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm stuck with them for at least a year and a half. My whole life I've been going to like a private local optician but I cannot afford to be paying independent opticians prices so I put myself in at Specsavers and I got a prescription for the first time in my life. I've never been given a prescription before. Turns out my eyesight isn't actually that bad. It's just the astigmatism in my left eye is really bad. My right eye's got one too but it's not as bad. So the axis on this eye is 170 and the max is 180. To me it makes it sound like my eye is basically upside down but I did some googling and apparently that's not how astigmatism works it's more about like the concave of your eyeball. I don't really know, I'm not a doctor. I think the frames were £89 and um, because it's spec savers they do the two for one thing. I've had one pair of glasses my whole life, I've never needed two pairs at the same time so I didn't really feel that was necessary to just have an extra pair of glasses for the sake of it. So instead I got the lenses thin because apparently they were going to be really thick with my prescription and they've also got like some sort of anti-reflective coating on them and actually this is the first time I've looked at it properly but there's no reflection really going on. I do just want to say that my mum really kindly offered to help me pay for them. I was going to pay for them myself, but when I came home she was like, oh, I help you. So, I know you're not watching, but thank you. I have good news. In January, I bought this lovely plant pot, but could not find a plant which would fit in it. It was such an awkward shape. In February, in last month's video, I showed you a plant which I bought for the plant pot, which again, didn't fit. And then in March, I finally found a plant to go in the pot. I don't know what this is called because I got it from Tesco and the label just said foliage. It's just kind of a spiky plant and I really like how it looks, but I am a bit worried because I've left it at uni over Easter. So it's basically gonna have a month without being taken care of and I spent so long looking for the perfect plant, I do not want it to die. I bought some makeup. Apparently the Boots website had a glitch and all 17 makeup was three for two, but when you added it to your cart, it was like, I can't remember, there was some kind of extra glitchy discount and I thought I may as well give some stuff a try because I needed a primer and a blush anyway. It's tricky buying makeup online because you can't really tell what the product is like, but this was listed as something completely different to what it is. It was just listed as a primer but it's actually a three-way highlighter, glow and prime. As someone with oily skin, that absolutely terrifies me. Why would I want to smother my face in highlighter? I would not. But I've worn it quite a few times now and I actually really like it. So it says this is a three-way liquid highlighter used to prime, add to your foundation or apply onto cheekbones. I've been using it as a primer, so just kind of putting it all on my face before I apply makeup. I mean, wearing it now and obviously I'm slightly overexposed so you can't see my face in lovely HD, but I don't think I look particularly oily. I've been using it with a matte foundation and a mattifying powder. I'm just making sure there's not too much shiny stuff on my face at one point, but I am really happy with it and I think it makes my makeup look better, it makes it last longer. Obviously, because I'm making sure I wear powder as well, that's an extra kind of boost to make my makeup last and look better. Next, I got a blush and this is in the shade Nude. Because of the glitch on the website, I think a lot of people have been buying 17 products and a lot of their stuff was sold out. So there wasn't much color choice, but it does the job. I'm happy enough with it. The third thing was my mistake. This is the 17 Stay Time Up to 25 Hour foundation. It's got SPF 25, which is basically why I bought it because it's coming up to summer. But obviously the problem with buying things online is you cannot test the shades and I messed up big time. I got the shade Honey, which I did know wasn't going to be an exact match, but it's so dark. It's so dark. It's just not wearable. I'm going to have to give this away or wait until I get the most extreme turn of my life. But I guess the good thing is it was three for two plus an extra discount. So technically I didn't pay for this. I popped into the card factory and you know they have those deals where there's like 10 cards for a pound or something absolutely ridiculous. Whenever they have those, I pick up some cards just cause there's always birthdays and you're never quite prepared enough. At least I'm not. So this one says fab birthday girl in like kind of balloons with tassels. It's very kind of Instagram. 
Got this for Ella. Ella, if you're watching, don't look. It's a succulent and gardening themed birthday card in pink. So it's very me, but it's also very Ella. And this one, which you can't see, is a cup of tea and it says just for you and it's my birthday card. I went on a little Primark trip. I just couldn't help myself. I told myself I wasn't gonna buy clothes and I didn't. But then as I was leaving the shop, I saw a top and I bought it. I went because I wanted to get some new earrings. You know, those like tassel earrings that everybody's suddenly wearing. Well, I saw that Primark were selling them in pastel pink. These were three pounds. And then I also got some more earrings cause they were just there. These were two pounds they're gold hoops with pink feathers and then these were in the sale reduced to 50p they are purple metallic hoops and i just thought i wear hoops a lot i wear pastel colors a lot this will work as i was leaving after i paid i walked through the disney section just because i was looking out for the new toy story stuff which apparently is just sold out everywhere but i just wanted to check and i saw this top it's eeyore and it's kind of got like pink embroidered flowers on it it's got a size 10 and what i like about this is that the neckline is round but it's not like too high up that it isn't flattering kind of thing and also the sleeves don't have the weird roll up on which when you buy them from Primark just go all funny in the wash. Just a little plain white t-shirt but with with an eel on it. While we're talking about clothes I went shopping the other day to get some stuff for work because I'm at home for Easter which means I am working at my old job. I needed some new trousers because my ones were a size six and I couldn't bend down in them and some new shoes because uh, one of the buttons had fallen off them and they just looked really scruffy. Went out into town, looked at every single shop to find some just smart like suit kind of trousers and every single shop I went in, they did not have my size or I tried on a size eight and it was like gaping out here and the waistband or I tried on a size 10 and I couldn't even do them up, which just angers me, it doesn't make any sense. So I got a bit frustrated and went into a charity shop instead. They were having a closing down sale and everything was two pounds or less. So I found a pair of like black smart Primark trousers for two pounds. They have a zip down the side and they're a size 10. They're actually slightly too big for me, but at least now I can bend down and like reach up high cupboards and stuff, which is something I need to be doing at work. So they're a little more practical. Also on the same rail, I found these. Excuse the amount of cat hair on them. These are so, cool they were two pounds again and they're like black flared trousers with a lace-up kind of corsety tie at the front that's so cool they're a size eight and they do just about fit me but i don't know whether i'll be keeping them or giving them to someone else or selling them or something because they're not completely comfortable because they're slightly too tight for me she doesn't know this yet but in the cutaway i'm going to get my sister to model them for me because they actually fit her. By the looks of the label, they look like they're from H&M uh, and they are just really cool. I wish, 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 wish they fit me. Maybe there's a pair for sale on Depop and I can buy myself a size 10 and then sell on these size eight, but I just love them so much. I wish they fitted. Not exciting at all, but these are the shoes I got. They were, I think 12 pounds in shoe zone. I always just get this kind of shoe because although they're ugly, they're practical for when you're walking around carrying hot coffees, you do not want your shoe to slip off and you to trip up. It was just kind of like a throwback to going shopping for school shoes, because I mean, look at them. That is a school shoe. <laughs> so I've been ending these videos on a kind of fun stationery thing. And this month's stationery pick is these stickers made by my friend Chris. So Chris is at uni in Southampton. He's at Southampton Solent and he does illustration. I think they're raising money for like an end of term gallery show or something, and they're all selling their art in different forms. So I bought some stickers off Chris, I think for £3.50, I might be wrong. You could actually buy these on Etsy. I will link them down below if you like them. It's just really cool, fun and kind of dark art. I love it. Chris's Instagram for his art is at Rebellious Teeth. So I'll link that down below as well. Let me just show you the stickers close up. Woo! So Chris has this kind of brand called Moist and it's like his made up drink, which is like black sludge and it's branded as just being kind of disgusting and moist. This is like ASMR and you can see my mouth really close up and I'm saying moist, moist. Ugh, ugh, stop. These are the other stickers in the pack, but my favorite is definitely the moist one. I don't know where I'm gonna put these. You know, I have this thing with stickers. I have a filing system for my stickers and quite a lot of the time I don't use the stickers. I just keep them in the filing system. I need the right place and the right moment. It's a lot of commitment to choose somewhere to stick a sticker. But if you have any suggestions of where these will look really cool, let me know. All right, that is everything I bought in March. There is one more thing which I didn't buy, but I have acquired. She goes by the name of Bella and she is a beagle. 
we adopted a dog. So I kind of hinted that something exciting was happening at the end of my video about the movie premiere. But yeah, we adopted a dog. Her name is Bella. She is a very, very, very podgy beagle. My family own a doggy daycare business, so we have dogs coming to stay with us every day. We have dogs boarding every night, we do dog walks, and we do cat home visits. When I was at my worst with my mental health, kind of between leaving school and starting college was kind of my recovery period. And in that time, my mum decided to quit her big job in London and set up her business instead. It was kind of a wake up call that we all needed a lifestyle change. So she set up this doggy daycare business and we adopted a dog called Toby. He was a rough collie, the same breed as like my childhood dog, who was called Jazz. Toby passed away in August. He was relatively old. So we got him when he was about eight, I think. And then it would have been maybe 12 when he died. I think rough collies have a lot of health issues and Toby ended up having a brain tumour and it was like pressing on his brain and making him really grumpy. He was grumpy anyway, but he was so grumpy and like just uncontrollable and erratic. Ever since then, the house has just been kind of a little bit quiet. I think you guys know that I'm a cat person, but I do like dogs as well. I do. Bella was actually a client. So when my mum first set up the business, I think she was one of the first clients and she's been coming to stay with us ever since. So we've known her for what? four and a half years. She was basically part of the family. She was our biggest paying client by miles because Bella was staying here so often. Her owner, her mum, was, you know, busy doing big job things in London. But then she got an offer to go and work in America and Bella obviously couldn't stay without an owner. So she was rehomed. My mum was really, really sad about it. Bella is just the loveliest, gentlest, kindest dog you will ever know. She's very fat, as I've said. She kind of just lies around a lot, a bit like me actually, but she has the gentlest nature. After a couple of weeks in the new home, they decided that Bella wasn't the dog for them, which is so sad, but we kind of just snapped her up. We were like, okay, cool, we'll take her. We weighed her when we first got her. So she'd been here two weeks today and she was 20.6 kilograms. And apparently the healthy weight for a beagle is under 10 kilograms, so she is, hefty. And about five days later, we took her to the vet and had like an official checkup and weigh in and she'd already lost one kilogram. Now she is officially part of our family and is going on at least two giant walks a day with all the other dogs that come to stay with us. She's gonna drop that weight so quickly. We've also put her on a raw food diet. By we, I kind of just mean my mum and my stepdad because they're dog people. They know what they're doing with dogs. Apparently that's the best thing for dogs and it kind of makes sense because in the wild they would eat raw meat. So she has raw meat and then a lot of raw vegetables, mostly cabbage and carrots. And I think that kind of fills her up without actually filling her out. So yeah, she's gonna be a very happy, very healthy dog. And I just love her so much. That is everything I bought in March. I cannot believe it's already April. What is going on? Where is the year going? By the way, it's now my birthday month. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you very soon.